My YouTube family, what is up? Okay, so, like I said, I apologize for my disappearance um, because I was trying to stay consistent. However, because I had some things going on with work, I had some travel in between, I hadn't been able to keep up with filming. And to be honest, I was really, really in the grind because from the last video, it really made me realize that, that how much more I needed to buckle down with this prep. So. Today, I am pretty much one week out. And like I said, a lot has changed because right now I am in what is called depletion. So I know that we talked about food and we talked about my supplements and all of that stuff. However, it has been a struggle. <laughs> I will definitely say that it has been a real struggle. And it's just because, you know, part of it I'm, I know is because I haven't been because I hadn't prepped in so long, you know, with the long time off over a year and a half or about a year and a half since I've been on stage. So this upcoming show has really pushed me to try to get to different levels mentally. And it's been exhausting, I'm not gonna lie to you. It has really kicked my assets. <laughs> no, I don't really, I'm not a big cussing person for those that don't know. I don't have anything against it. Uh, however, I just, you know, I just choose to say other words. But uh, I, I'm surviving, you know what I mean? That's the thing. And, and we talked about, you know, the mental game, you know, and just staying focused and keep moving forward. You're gonna deal with adversity. This is a part of the journey. The struggle is a part of the journey. So you have to find a way, you have to dig down deep and you really have to want it, you know? And so I've been really like tunnel vision, really trying to stay focused really grinding, but I feel like prep's going well. I did get a little surprise that uh, I, I found out some people that are competing. And here's one thing, you know, when you get to like, for me getting to this pro level and competing as a pro, you can't, there's no ducking anyone. Like you have to go against the best. Like that's the one difference between amateur and pro level to me is that now you're going against the cream of the crop for every show. There is no like, like for amateur level, when I was competing MPC amateur, you know, you could get someone that maybe didn't know much about like a prep or how to diet or anything like that, like for a show and they come on stage and they look like they didn't even work out. But as a pro competing against other pros, you don't get that. Everyone's bringing their A game. So it's, it's an honor to be a part of it. Uh, to be a part of IMBA, be a part of Military Muscle. As you see, I'm rocking Combat Nutra today, Combat Nutra, uh, and you got Military Muscle, which I'm always rocking them. But that's something that I needed to happen, like, because it gave me that extra push to like really get my focus right. So, but today, 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 being a week out, I've already done my fasted cardio. I've had my first meal, which was about, Third a cup of oat, oatmeal, steel cut, 
So that'll be pretty much the highest carbs I have today. The rest is gonna be kale, spinach, asparagus, salmon, and uh, ground turkey. So, and I, I may do some eggs today. But my schedule is high protein. So I'm gonna get, I'm getting in at about 250 to 270 grams of protein. My carbs are about 50 to 60, but I haven't even reached that uh, the past couple days. And my fats are about 40 to 50. So the energy levels have been really low. I've been exhausted, but I keep pushing, you know, uh, because I'm hoping to carb load. My plan to carb load is Tuesday. And I'm going to slowly increase, slowly bring carbs back in and then gradually go up as the week goes on, depending on how I look. So I know you guys probably want a physique update. I will give you one at some point in time. I can't guarantee this is gonna be the day and I'm not sure. Cause right now I really don't look good. <laughs> it's like everything's flat. Everything's def you know deflated looking and yeah. But one thing I do know is I still got a lot of work to do. I still got some fine tuning to do. This is gonna be by far not my best, uh, uh, my, my best physique to the stage. However, it's gonna be good and I'm gonna be competitive, but it's not gonna be the very best. And it's just because I, I dinked around too much in the beginning of this prep, you know, and I talked about that, you know, I was having issues with snacking and things of that sort and it caught up to me. So, but that's fine because we got a long road. Olympia is not till November and the goal is to get qualified for Olympia. You have to finish top two. And then once I get qualified, then I'm good. So, and I am competing in two different categories of men's physique. So I have masters and I have open. Um, so we'll see. I'm just gonna, the only thing you can do is you versus you. Bring the best that you can for your show and you know, leave it all out there. Enjoy it because all the work that you put in, the sacrifice, the struggles, all of that stuff, now it's time to show it off, you know, and and then it's subjective because you got to leave it in the judge's hands. It's what they think, and it's comparing you amongst whoever else is on stage. But the surprise today is possibly another military muscle athlete, my buddy, my brother Jason. He lives about 45 minutes from me, so he reached out to me. He's going to be leaving soon. He is in the Army. He is an amazing, amazing guy. He's been through a lot, and for him to persevere, he is he's inspiring. He's motivating, and like I said, he's a great guy, and him and I haven't had an opportunity to really see each other very much over the past couple years. The last time I saw him was 2017 or 18, I believe. I think 2017. It's either 16 or 17 at the Arnold. That's the last time I saw him. But I did see his wife um, a couple years ago and his kids because he was deployed. He deploys a lot. And that's a part of some of the struggles he's been through. But anyway, I'm hoping to capture some of him. We're going to do a back workout and, uh, and just catch up. So we'll see if he wants to film or if he wants me to film him. Uh, on this video. If not, then I'll just catch you up after. So I hope everyone's having a blessed day. I hope you had a great week. Hope you're smiling, happy, staying positive, staying motivated. You know, a lot of places are unmasking now. So we're moving forward with COVID and that's a blessing. So thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys that have stuck around and, um, you know, have believed in me and have pushed me and have, you know, really, really supported me through this uh, process, not just this show, but you know, in the past. So I'm grateful, I'm thankful, let's do this. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Peace. All right, YouTube, we are back in business. I wanted to make sure that I started this off and I didn't want to just throw out like workout stuff, but my brother Jason came up, call him Jay for short. So you guys y haven't seen him on this channel in like four years and when you did see him it was really brief <laughs> Very brief. <laughs> but we just i mean that today i realized how close he lived to me so you know we're going to try to take advantage he's actually going to be moving soon so we're going to try to take advantage of the time you know what i mean and um catching up but we're going to get a back workout in so that's what you guys will see and um you know maybe you guys will learn something like i was saying earlier he's been through a lot and uh, he's a beast mode you guys can see he could barely fit on the camera you got to move me out of the camera to be able to fit all of that muscle on there. <laughs> but he is he is a, a military muscle athlete um, as well. So 
Now you guys get a chance to see, I think this might be the first video that I've had with two MM athletes yep. on the same video. So this is a bonus and hopefully you guys enjoy, but I will make sure to put his information. If you guys want to follow him on Instagram, I'm telling you, if you guys want, or if you're low on motivation, low on inspiration, low on how to deal with adversity, you know what I mean? This is the one right here that you guys need to follow. <laughs> so, all right, join us. We're going to do it. Feeling it right there in your lap. Yeah. Um, give your hands just a small twist. Don't take that pinky in towards your body. Okay. Squeeze it more. So, so I'm starting this way. Yep. But it comes just this way. Come out a little bit. Okay. Feel right there. Okay. Super. Go super light on it. Yeah. And slow. You get a really good pump. There's a lot of blood. Okay. All right, YouTube, I didn't want to, uh, I really didn't want to talk during this because I want to be able to play this out as far as the, uh, all of the exercise movements. But this one in particular, I wanted to make sure that I explained for those that have never done this one uh, because Jay had explained it to me and it was a similar movement to what I do with dumbbells, but this one is actually, I think, better. Um, but it's all about starting with your elbow, as you guys can see. And if you look at how his wrist placement is, it starts off at a 90 degree, but then it, it bends outward. Um, and then look at his leg placement as his legs, the leg is crossed. So it keeps you stable, but you look at the amount of weight. You don't need a whole lot of weight for this movement, but just make sure when you do come back and you contract, make sure that you squeeze at that bottom end. And the target area, target area is is the lower portion of, of the back and the lat not the upper portion so if you were to do this movement and keep the elbow up high then you're going to be hitting the upper portion of the lat so small tips but you know you guys are learning from gigantor today so but i i just wanted to make sure that i explain that exercise uh, it just in case if it's something that you want to incorporate in your workout so all right we're going to press forward
All right, my YouTube family, I am back at home and uh, I hope you guys got something out of the, the uh, workout. You know, I didn't close it out there because him and I, we, you know, we were just catching up because we hadn't seen each other in so long. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to have like all of that stuff filmed because that's just, that's between him and I. Um, but I hope that you guys learned a little bit on that one exercise, you know, when I was giving you guys the tips that Jason had talked about. I hope you just enjoyed the workout. I haven't given you guys much workout footage because of the, because I've been so much like locked into the grind, but I'm, I'm getting there. And it was a good workout. It was more awesome not just the workout itself, but it was more awesome to see him, you know, you never know who's gonna impact your life sometimes. And people come and go. And the people that are genuine, the people that are real in your life, and that really are, you know, high value, those people will stick around. And regardless, like I always think of people and friends as sometimes being seasonal, you know, they come in your life at certain seasons and, and then some people leave, some people stay. And Jason's been one of those guys that once he entered in, he's been here the whole time, even though we haven't physically been around each other very much. So I'm grateful, I'm thankful that he took the time to come up and he knew I was in, you know, obviously I'm a week out from my show. So he knew that I, you know, I'm not gonna have a lot of strength in the gym. I'm not gonna have a lot of juice. He still wanted to come up and see me and work out. And we have a lot in common, you know, so I just appreciate that and um, I appreciate my military muscle fan because he's been a part of it since I've been a part of it. And that's one of the differences that I've noticed between, you know, some of the other companies out there is that we are, we are a family atmosphere because we have situations like that. He's not the first person that has come to visit with me. So that just shows like the family atmosphere and how much we do actually mean to each other. And we genuinely mean it. It's not fake. It's not something that we just are putting out there for the world to see. It's true, it's real. Like I said, it's genuine. So I'm grateful, I'm thankful. I'm gonna close this video out. I'm gonna, the next time I will probably be really in a grind. I may try to bring you guys along for the process of like when I get my tan and take you along to the show. That's what I'm hoping for. But I, I know I owe you guys a physique update and I'll try to get that in. It may even come up after I'm done closing this out. So. That could be a bonus. We'll see how I edit this. Thank you guys again. I really appreciate you two for supporting me. This has been probably my toughest prep, probably the most rewarding. So have a blessed day. Stay strong, stay safe. Don't forget to smile more and worry less. That's gonna be my saying. So um, take care, thank you again. We'll talk soon, peace.